Ever since I got the um, at least two more sofas here, it's been a bit more difficult for me to do green screen. Now, during the parts of the filming, I did have to move the sofa, but now I'm like in the back of the room and using one hanger that works and the other that does because I, I don't know. Today, we're going to be reviewing a PlayStation VR game. Now, many of these ones actually have short experiences. But considering that, uh, I guess, Ant-Man and the Wasp will be out by the end of this month, today we'll be reviewing Spider-Man Homecoming, the VR experience. In this short quest only for the PlayStation VR only, you play as Spider-Man, you do. Well, there's also one line at the start of it, the main menu, that's been taken from the film. Assumingly, I guess Spider-Man is voiced by um, Tom Holland. Um, and also the vulture is also there, taking a line from the film. So I guess that's Michael Keaton, or whatever his real name is. And also the voice, I guess, is actually the real voice, not taken from that. Tony is also mentioned, I bet one of those little bits, those little cities, I bet one of them is at least the Avengers Tower. So at the start of it, it's basically you've got at least three training rounds to do, you have to, to learn about your spider suit. And then eventually Vulture comes up and then he hits a... Um, a thing and you need to pull it back up to make a crane to pull it back up with your spider powers and then you go after him. It's very short, it's very little but it's still one of the other best VR stuff and I hope Marvel continues to use this opportunity to make more VR stuff not just about Spider-Man. It could be about Avengers Infinity War, Black Panther, Full Wagnerwalk, it could be about Ant-Man and the Wasp if you wanted to. It could be about so many opportunities. After all, Stranger Things did one. So how do I compare this to other Spider-Man lookalikes on this? Well, this one is basically for the film, and it's a promotion for the film. After all, the Blu-ray thing is seen at the end of it. So what do I give this one? Well, because it's short, it's nice, I wish there was more, so it gets a 9 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if there are other f any other free PlayStation VR games that are coming soon, I know about Star Trek, I know about Tr Tetris, I know about many more that were basically announced at E3. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and peace.